So what I do? Yeah, actually, I gotta pause right now. I'm filming right now. Yes, yeah, I got the game paused. It's 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 what I do. Look, I gotta get to this other video. Yes, I make videos, my YouTube videos. Go to my channel, you will find out what it's about or watch this video. All right, well, look, my subscribers and viewers are waiting. Whatever, whatever. I'm gonna continue to play games. All right, whatever, girl. All right. <sighs> What's up? For all my nobles, my elites, fellow soul reapers. Um, yes. Why do I play games? I enjoy them. That's what I do. I mean, I've been doing it as far back as I can remember. Everyone who knows me knows that I like playing my games, you know, my video games. Wow, so what? Am I grown? Yes. And I still play games. Is that a problem? Is that an issue? I don't see the problem. Now, this is, why, this is how I'm going to break it down to you. Society and other people, they look, you know, they hit the word video game, they think, you know, Pac-Man or Space Invasion, you know, do, 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 getting near points and everything. No. My love for video games started as far back as I can remember, like I said. It's not so much that it's a video game. It's what they are. And what are video games? Interactive stories. That's right, that's exactly what they are. Interactive stories. So, you have people out there who love to read, who like to watch movies. When people, they, when they say they like to read, they try to make it, uh, they give it that um, smart, intelligent, kind of uh, image like yeah I like to read I like to read people tell me you like to read okay that's cool I like to read too but you can tell me you like to read all day but the fact of the matter is what do you read and how good can you read I mean if you say oh, yeah, yeah I like to read but you reading about something stupid you know it doesn't matter anyway look do I play the game every day yep when you know once business is taken care of um, do I play it all day when I choose to, can I? Yeah. That's why you have different types of games, big libraries. Like I said, they're interactive stories. Everything is a story. Everything. Whether it's fact or fiction or anything. The books you read are stories. The movies you watch are stories. Video games are stories. What set them apart is you take control of the character. The only way to get through a movie is to sit and watch it and listen. The only way to get through a book is to read it and turn the page. The way to get through a game, you play it to get to the next part. I mean, if you ask me, there are some stories within these games that are just destroying other stories out there as far as books and uh, movies. I mean, titles like Assassin's Creed, you know, deep stories like that. And me, I mean, it's, I'm sorry, I'm, you know, I'm an open-minded person. Whatever I like, I like. I don't care if the story is fact or fiction. I don't care if it's in the hood, outer space, in another dimension. If it's good, it's good. I'm sorry. And with me liking games, when they incorporate things into games that I already like, that just amplifies even more. That, that goes with movies and, and books also. But you know, I'm, you know, I'm a gamer. I am a gamer. It's a form of entertainment. I escape reality. It's a stress reliever. I mean, I, I enjoy it. I like good characters. Like, um, this is, you know, something I like. Other people have their own things. It's a hobby of mine. Other people's hobbies collect stamps, collect uh, model ships, collect silverware. Some people's hobbies, well, if they call it a hobby, going out to the club. But, you know, trying to pull a number or do this now out there in the streets. At least I'm doing something that's not hurting nobody. I'm not hurting nobody. I mean, so what? I play video games. So what? How does that hurt you? How does that make me, you know, I'm doing something kiddie or oh, you're a lame, oh, you're a nerd. One thing you have to realize, the video game industry is way bigger. There's more money in it than the movies and the books. I mean, if you don't know, everybody and their mom has heard of Call of Duty, everybody. I love Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3. You know, the Modern Warfare series. The sales topped everything. 
everything. Avatar, the theater sales of all the Star Wars movies, Lord of the Rings. So when I see stuff like that, you know, in 16 days, you know, billion sales. You know, the first day, all them um, millions of sales are made. Then the first, the uh, rest of the week, more uh, millions, not hundred thousands, millions. So despite what your favorite music artist is, music artist is, despite what your favorite book is or novel or comic, despite you know your movie, any of that stuff, Modern Warfare 3, a video game, steamroll over that through sales. That goes to show so many things. There's more gamers out there than it is um, people who uh, who's involved with a lot of other things because <laughs> the numbers don't lie. Numbers speak for themselves. That's just the way it goes. So, despite people say about video games, oh, it's not it. Hey, then how come it's, you know, breaking records all over the world? How come Modern Warfare 3 made the records it did? That means people are buying it. People, rather they're buying it as a gift, they're still buying it for that person to play it because they enjoy it. That's just how it works. Now, another thing is, uh, the other things I collect on my swords. Love my swords. I've been liking uh, swords since since forever. You know, I like bladed weapons. So what? You got the mother knuckleheads out there. They collect guns. You know, I you know I love the sword. I you know respect the history of it. They've been around since forever. Unfortunately, yes, it's a weapon made to hurt and kill. But yet. You gotta respect that you can get a permit for a gun and walk around with it. But let me walk outside with this. Whether it's sheath or unsheathed. Let me walk outside with this and I get in big trouble. I can walk with a, a gun on them. You know, so which one does the system or the government look at as more lethal? Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't care what state you're in. I don't think you can walk around with any of these. I know different states have different laws. Anyway, now, um... When you take something also that I like blades and weapons and you put that into a game, hey, that, that amplifies it even more. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I like any and all games. There are some games I do not like. And games are not kitty. For all of you who are watching this, they're not kitty, they're not for little kids. Everything is age appropriate. Think back, y'all. We've all had McDonald's. Think back today. We all we all had happy meals before. We all have. But can you think back to that day when you were in line or in the drive through and you were thinking like, you know what? I don't want no happy meal no more. You know, you're getting older, stomach getting bigger. You know, you don't want that that box with the toy in it. You know? I never forget. I, I said, man, forget that. I want that Arch Deluxe. <laughs> yeah, I remember that, the Arch Deluxe. That's what I want. I don't want a happy meal no more. Forget it. When I was young, I used to play a uh, Kirby's Dreamland. If you're a gamer, you probably even if you don't play, because you probably heard of Kirby. You used to play Kirby's Dreamland and, and and Mickey Mouse and and uh, all when I was younger. As I got older, yes, I kept playing games, but I played games that catered to my interest and my age group. Now, don't get me wrong, a fun game is a fun game. It can be intended for um, audience, you know, younger audience, but it's still. Uh, it can still be a fun game, so don't think you, you know. That's just what people think. They, people play uh, when they think about people play video games. They think they have a a young mindset or an immature mindset. No, <clears throat> excuse me, that's not the case at all. Because same thing with anime. I love my anime. If you don't know what it is, then I'm not too surprised if you do. Good, you know. When I when people when I have to tell people anime, you know Japanese animation. You know I, I don't like to use the word cartoon because it's not a cartoon. Look up the definition of cartoon. Ja anime is not a cartoon at all. And to give an example, I mean yes, these are animes, but I don't like to give this example. I say you know something like Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Sailor Moon. I used to watch all of them. I got into better stuff than all three of them. You know I used to watch those when I was younger. When I was younger. But 
Cause, but when people think like, oh, he watched stuff like that, they automatically get this mindset. They, they be so small minded. They think all oh, anime is like that. And they figure, oh, you watch anime? Well, you know, you know what's that? What's that? You know, it, it's Japanese animation, eh? huh? You know, it's, it's Japanese version of cartoon. Oh, I still never seen it. It's it, Dragon Ball. So that's what it. Oh, that's probably what you know what you think, but it's not like that. But you know, but so what? Oh, well, that's that's what I like. And and this is another thing. I've had people say, oh, I can't get in. I don't see how you do it. I don't say you sit in front of the TV. I don't say how you play. You know, they don't see how I sit in front of the TV all day. But a lot of people, and probably some of you who watch this, sit in front of the TV and watch TV all day. I mean, I'm doing something that keeps me out of trouble. It increases my hand and eye coordination. This is a quick uh, mini story. True story. My mother told me she was talking to her friend one time. And um, her son, you know, doing a lot of bad things out there in the streets not really being a good son so she was just fed up stressed out crying you know he was getting in trouble with the law and my mom told me she said i wish my son was just sitting in front of the tv all day but of course my mom said oh well, that's all chris do so i mean hey it's not of course all what i do i do it a lot but you know, I do that when I can. Take care of business first, man. My downtime is that. That's my hobby. You know, that's what I like to do. Play with people online around the world. It's fun. So back to the whole thing, I it's not kitty. There are games out there where you have to show your ID. I remember when I was in high school, um, State of Emergency came out. I went to go buy it. The lady said, you have your ID. What? I'm like, it's like that? I showed her my. I did. She said, oh, no, you can't get it. I said, wow, I can't even get this. <clears throat> I, I, I couldn't believe it. We all heard of Grand Theft Auto. That's not for little kids. But you know what's funny? Need for Speed is not for little kids also or Burnout. But yet, the rating on there says E for everyone. I have game titles over there right now. Should have had a women in this video where they have... Uh, contents if you look on the back of a game case first the front of the game case if you look on the bottom left it has a rating M for mature T for teen and E for everyone on the back of it it tell you what it contains damn there's so many games I have not owned that have came out it says use of alcohol use of drugs sexual things violence blood gore oh and that's kitty yeah, that's real kitty I mean look up games like Gears of War Mass Effect Assassin's Creed, uh, Shinobi, Ninja Gaiden. Nothing kitty about them. Nothing at all. And for the ones who say they can't watch, back to the anime real quick, for the ones who say they don't uh, see how I get into it, or oh, I can't watch that, uh, I don't see. I don't think it's so much that it's because it's animated. I think it's what it is. But maybe it's a, a, a male female thing. How many? I mean, there are some anime female fans out there. There are some female gamers out there. Very rare to me. You, you don't really run into a lot of chicks who like stuff like um, Bleach and the Cure, Ghost in the Shell, Neon Genesis Evangelion, Mobile Suit Gundam. They're not going to sit there. They don't care about that. You know, they want to see some Twilight and, and Bridesmaids and uh, Tyler Perry movies and, and, you know, Sister Soldier books and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, but hey, but if that's what you like, that's what you like. You're not hurting anybody. Just like, oh, I'm not hurting anybody. You know, they, you know, people kill me. You know, when they say, you watch anime, I don't get that. But yet, they'll be real quick to watch Boondocks. Family Guy. Simpsons, yeah, those are comedies. And I'm not picking on none of those series because Family Guy is funny. Simpsons is real funny. And Boondocks is very funny. But guess what? So it ain't so much this animated. It's the fact that, oh, look at that. They cussing and dropping the M bomb, yeah, isn't it? You know, damn near all the cast are black people and they it's nothing like it out there, you know. Family guy damn near the whole cast is white. Simpsons damn near the whole cast is white. American Dad damn near the whole cast is white. So it's nothing wrong with with watching something animated. But I guess depending on what it is, they like it. You know. I know a girl, she said she couldn't see how she watched how I watched the um, 
bleaching anime. She couldn't get into anime like that, but yeah, she watched SpongeBob. You know, it's, so it ain't so much you all can't watch something animated. It depends, you know, it's what it's about. I love my Bleach, man. You know, it consists of swords, the afterlife, the spirits, good uh, action scenes. It's just what I like. I'm a man. I like the explosion. I like the uh, the swords and uh, action scenes. Good plot, good story. I'm not, I'm not just brain dead, just watching mindless action. Uh, no, not like that. I do like a good story, character um, development, good plot. Um, uh, you know, uh, somewhat good cliffhangers, but. That's just that's just how it goes. Like uh, this book right here, while I was on the phone, um, the strategy. I was also looking at the strategy guy here, of, uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Yeah, it's just a strategy guy. So a game that I like, that I own. I mean, so what? I mean, sue me. I mean, this is what I like. Stuff like that. That that's what I like. I think that's cool. Like I don't know, armor and the two swords. So what? What's Kitty and Lame about armor and swords? It's part of history. Yes, this design is fiction. The armor used to exist. I, I just don't understand. So, so what? I like games. So what? I like anime. I don't feel I'm a lame for it. I don't feel I'm a, a nerd for it. I'm not ashamed about it. Somebody asked me. Yeah, I do it. I mean, I have a Call of Duty shirt. I'm real with mine. I'm not gonna hide or lie about what I do. Or if somebody asks me, you know, be all fake with it. Be all, you play the game? You know, every now and then, you know. I'm not. That, that's just fake. That's a shame. If you are like that, if you are into something and you're ashamed of uh, answering the question truthfully or letting somebody know you're into something, then you you know, you, you, you're one of them fake cowards. Like, you just need to um, hide under a rock, hang your tail between your legs. Outside of the house or around um, other people, you put on this other fake image. But as soon as the door closed, you go back to doing what you're doing, keeping it isolated. Don't want nobody to know. That's sorry, pathetic, and sad. So what? I, like I said, it's what I do. It's my hobby. It's an interactive story. I love good stories. I have a whole bunch of DVDs. I have a whole bunch of anime DVDs. You don't even want to know how many systems I have and games I have. Everybody who know me, they're probably watching this video right now. Like, oh yeah, Chris and them games, but that's what I'm known for. I mean, I mean that's what he's known for. But that's what I do. I play my games. I don't hurt anybody. It's my hobby. I mean, what's your hobby? Some people don't even have hobbies. They just fill the day with watching whatever. I mean, just watch whatever, eat whatever, do whatever. And they say, you know, oh, you're not, it's not healthy, you're not getting any exercise, and I don't need to lose weight. If all of you know me, I, that's the last thing, I, I do not need to lose weight. It increases my hand and eye coordination. Um, it's, it's something that I'm just really into. Oh, someone asked me one time, when am I going to stop playing games? That's a good question. That's what I was thinking. I should have asked that person, when are you going to stop having sex? If you enjoy something, you're going to keep on doing it to as long as you can. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not just going to be a sucker for games no matter uh, how no, no matter how they're done. I'm going to play it. There are type of games I do not like. There are type of uh, play style styles I do not like. There are systems out there I do not like. So, when I say I, you know, I like games, I love my games, but don't just think, oh, it's just a game. I'm going to jump on it. I'm going to be getting down on Kirby or Spyro or Dragon or none of that stuff. I have a spot for games, but I still have my own style and taste. I know gamers out there that are horrible. I look at their collection like, ain't no way in hell I will buy this. <laughs> what if I even know? But if you look at my collection, it fits to my style. I mean, everyone has their own style and taste. And I'm a true gamer. What's a true gamer? A true gamer to me, someone who's put the amount of... Uh, dedication and devotion into their games, the amount of money, the time, um, doing the research, um, 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 posting about it, or the blogging about it, hell, making YouTube videos about it, staying true to, you know, don't be cheating, you know, be, uh, have good sportsmanship, everything about it, stay on top of the latest news, reviews, all of that, you know, but so what, I'm a gamer, I'm a true gamer, I mean, 
that's just what it is. So yeah. Um what's my train of thought? But yeah, it's uh the things um I enjoy. And they say, uh, oh, they cost too much. $63 for Okay. Now, I remember when games used to be $53. Everything is going up. Everything out here is going up. Every new system that comes out, the price of the games would go up. I would not be surprised. And it would be messed up if um, these new systems come out and the games go up to be $73. But this is the thing. And I know there's only females that say, oh, they cost $63. Oh, they cost too much. Let's look at everything it takes to make the game. Mm. Computer programming. Mm. Let's see. They have to now nowadays. At first, they, everything starts on paper. We have to write the story, rough draft, character designs, sound effects. There's audio equipment. They have to motion capture. If you don't know what motion capture is, they put on the jumpsuit. Whatever they do in the suit, it does it on the screen to give the characters a more realistic feel. They put uh, the white motion dots around their jawbone structure. So when they talk. The character talk when they uh, design it on the computer to make it look more real and authentic. Uh, one time, uh, Oni Musha 2, I watched the uh, making behind that. They put the suit on a horse. That kind of care and detail is what I appreciate and acknowledge as being a gamer. That these companies go out their way to put good quality and detail within their title. Because they're pushing it out. They're putting their name out there all over the world. They want people to buy their, uh, uh, their game. So they're putting their all into it. So let's see. You have sound effects, computer programming, motion capture, you have the script layout. Also, these are millions, hundreds of thousands of copies that have to be made. Yeah, those little plastic cases don't cost much, but when they add up to the hundred thousand millions, it adds up. They have to put the picture, print it on the CD. They have to put plastic, they have to print out the book. That's a lot of ink. They have to uh, uh, seal it up, ship it out, pay the shipping companies. They have to have a deadline. All that ink and printing, they all oh, the voice actors, they have to pay the voice actors for it. They have to pay the team, the workers, all that costs way more than $63. And it's the gift that keeps on giving. You just don't play the game, play one, two, three levels. Oh, that's it. Well, yeah. They have downloadable content now. You can play online around the world. You can chat. I mean, these systems are entertainment systems. I mean, they're I mean they're entertain I mean, they go on the computer. They have Netflix now, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, Bing. I mean, voice command is so much more. And back to when I'm going to stop playing games, uh, so, like I said, someone asked me, I should have asked them when they're going to stop having sex. I mean, like I said, I'm not just going to keep on. I'm going to keep on playing playing my games. I'm going to keep on playing games. As long as they keep making them good. Say if it was an epidemic that happened two years from now. They said from now on, all games must be played with motion capture. I mean, with uh, like Connect. Whatever you do, they do. I don't know about that. I don't know. I think controllers will stay in forever. Because not everybody is still catching on to this motion thing. So, I don't know. My father. My father. He's 60. He has a 360. He has Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2. Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. My father. So maybe you could say it's genetics or whatever. But if he's 60 still playing them, because he's, cause he's seen how they evolved back when in television, ColecoVision, up now to Xbox 360. I remember uh, we used to be in television. I remember that. I mean, I remember the Atari, the Nintendo. So seeing stuff from in television up to now, they keep increasing and making better and better and better technology, the characters, how the uh, trilogy start. Like, oh man, I guess. I mean, if you keep doing it right, I'm going to keep staying with it. You keep doing it right, you will get my money. So as long as they keep doing it right, hey, you know, God willing, I keep, I mean, okay, I don't see myself being 80. You know, just, I don't see that. But, I mean, I should do research on that. Like, what's the oldest gamer? Anyway, um, yeah, so, before you ask a gamer, when are you going to stop playing again, huh? When are you going to stop having sex? Because you can't do nothing forever. You can't. You think you're still going to be having sex when you're 80? Anyway. Um, yeah, so all in all, games are not kiddie. They're not for kids. If you play them, it's good. Be a gamer. Be good at it. You won't be lame for it. You're not a, you're not a nerd. 
I'm not either of those things. It's what I do. I love my games. I'm a true gamer. I play games. I like games. So what? Thank you for watching this video. This is the Elite Ace. Thank you to all my nobles, all my elites, and my soul reapers. I'm out.